Without me telling you anything and you watching this, you'd think this is a new Apple product. But it's not. This here is the Biomega OKO, or OKO, however you want to pronounce it. If you haven't heard about Biomega before, they're a bicycle brand built around a team of designers where their e-bikes and bikes are often created with design in mind. With collaborative work with designers such as Mark Newson, who's designed this, this, pretty much all this. So you can understand where Biomega gets its looks from. Although it's not for everyone, it's definitely unique and very European. Which has me questioning, how does a Biomega Oco stack up in Australia? You come from a land down well, let's have a look at the spec sheet first. Like all other street legal e-bikes, the Oco is fitted with a 250 watt motor. And this is housed in the front between the carbon fiber forks and is powered by a 36 volt 9.9 .9 amp hour or 356 watt hour battery. Now this is a little on the smaller side compared to the average capacity of e-bikes nowadays which kind of range between 12 and 13 amp hours or 500 watt hours. And Biomega estimates a range between 45 and 65 kilometers which does seem a little bit generous. The general rule of thumb is that a 500 watt hour battery will get you about 2 hours of well assisted riding which at 25 kilometers per hour will get you around 50 kilometers. So technically the Oco should be able to get around 35 to 40 kilometers of well assisted riding. But like always, take these figures with a grain of salt because it's almost impossible to get a range with so many factors playing a role. Now, in the brakes department, the Oco uses Shimano Dior disc brakes, which are hugely popular with any bike and are a solid choice for any budget conscious rider. The only thing is that these brakes aren't e-bike friendly, which mean they don't have any cutout sensors to stop the power to the motor when they're engaged. It is a safety feature that some e-bike companies use, but a lot of e-bikes have used these without any dramas. Most modern motors and pass systems are responsive enough to eliminate any danger without braking anyway. Onto the highlight of the Oco, which is definitely the drivetrain. As you'll quickly notice, this e-bike doesn't use a cassette and freewheel with the railers or shifters. It gets rid of all that clutter for its simple 2-speed SRAM automatics. With the options for 8-speed Shimano Alfine and Shimano Di2 internally geared hub, the Oco simplifies riding a bike so you don't have to worry about shifting at all. They're definitely something to consider if you do a lot of commuting and riding in the city. Smoother rides, no need to shift, and it requires less maintenance, especially if you pair it up with a carbon belt drive. So in addition to the automatic gears, the Oco uses a carbon belt drive system which really provides you that premium ride. This combination is a must for any city commuter. If you've got the budget and you've got the coin, I definitely recommend an automatic gear hub with a carbon belt drive because the ride is smoother, it's more quiet and clean. You don't have the chain skipping and slapping around and all that lubrication for the drivetrain is in the hub so it's definitely a lot easier to keep clean. Now if you do consider getting the Oco, I highly recommend getting the 8 speed option whether it be the Alfine or Di2 because Australia isn't very flat compared to Europe I think. You need the lower gears to climb the hills we find ourselves facing every 100 meters. Now if you do live in a very flat region like Canberra for example or if you're a confident rider then the 2 speed will be fine but if you got some hills on your route definitely consider upgrading to the 8 speed. Using the Biomega was easy enough, it's just like any other e-bike really nowadays. Here's your control panel with an on off button and a plus minus button to control your pedal assistance. With Biomega e-bikes, the one light is actually no level of pass to comply with European law. So two green LEDs is actually one level of pass. Three LEDs is actually two levels of pass and so on and so forth. While it's the red LEDs indicate your battery level. And that's pretty much it with using the Oco. No LCD screen, no LED screen, just on and off switch, brakes and pedals. Charging it is simply done via the port under the top tube where the battery sits. It's really just the most simple and minimal e-bike ever, I think. And I mean, this translates into the riding experience. The ride was simply put, just simple, just so minimal. The motor comes in smoothly and the gears really complement it. Now, because the frame and forks are carbon, it is a stiff ride, like a roadie or fixie. But the Biomega saddle is really comfortable in saying that. And I believe it's a really good balance of comfort and performance. The soft leather and padding is really something else. Now while I was riding there was something I picked up and I say this a lot with a lot of the commuter bikes I get. The Biomega is fitted with 26 inch wheels which I personally think is a little bit too small. 
Now, I would have loved the Oco if it was a 29 or 700c bike because I definitely prefer the bigger wheels when commuting, especially being a large rider too. You know, I, I usually ride extra large. Now, just having that nice rollover and top speed is definitely something I look for in a commuter. So guys, that wraps up that little test with the Biomega Oco. Really just a premium e-bike made for bustling city roads and streets. It comes in two sizes, medium and large, so unfortunately small and extra large riders miss out, but to be honest, it should still cover you, as I normally ride extra large and rode the large fine. Now it also does come in two other colours, gloss white and black. There isn't any official word to when and if Biomega is releasing the Oco in Australia, or if their other bikes are, but if it does, you can expect the retail of the Oco to be around $3,500 or $4,000 for the 2-speed SRAM Automatics variant, whereas the 8-speed hubs will add a premium. So definitely go check out Biomega Oco if you want more of a premium urban commuter e-bike that's unique and simplifies your riding experience, as well as maintenance. And that's it. That's the end of the review. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I know it's been a while since I've released a video, but there's this one and then there's a whole bunch more coming out. Uh, we actually got electric skateboards coming. So yep, stay tuned. Peace out.